Hey, auto repair family. Welcome back to the channel, your ultimate destination for car DIYs and the best repair tips. Today, we've got something exciting for you. A game-changing tool that every car owner should have in their toolbox. The OBD2 scanner with throttle relearn. Now, if you've ever cleaned your throttle body or replaced sensors, you know how tricky it can be to get your car running smoothly afterward. This is where throttle relearn comes in. But why exactly is it so important? Let me explain. When you clean your throttle body, replace the throttle position sensor, or even disconnect the battery, your car's throttle system can lose its calibration. And when that happens, you might face issues like rough idling, hesitation when you accelerate, or even your car stalling out. Sounds familiar, right? That's because your car's engine control unit, ECU, needs to recalibrate the throttle body to know exactly where the idle and full throttle positions are. Without this, the car won't be able to adjust airflow properly, causing sluggish performance. What is Throttle Relearn? Throttle Relearn is a simple process where your car's ECU resets and relearns the throttle body's position. Think of it like your car's brain getting a fresh start, teaching it where the throttle begins, ends, and everything in between. How to use the OBD2 scanner Here's where the OBD2 scanner comes in. Plug it into the OBD2 port, usually located beneath your dashboard, near the driver's seat. Once it's connected, power up the scanner and navigate to the throttle relearn option. Most good OBD2 scanners have this feature in their advanced menu. If yours doesn't, it might be time to upgrade. Once you select throttle relearn, the scanner sends a signal to your ECU to reset the throttle body position. This can take a minute, so be patient. The ECU will learn the rest position, the full open position, and everything in between. Once it's done, you should notice smoother idling, better acceleration, and no more stalling. Your car will feel like new again. Before you start, always clear any stored codes in the scanner. Old codes can interfere with the process. And remember, after the relearn, it might take a few drives for the ECU to fully adapt. So keep an eye on your car's performance. And that's it. In just a few minutes, you've fixed that throttle issue with a reliable OBD2 scanner. Throttle relearn is more than just tech jargon. It's key to keeping your car running at its best. If you found this tip helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Auto Repair for more easy car DIYs and pro tips every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.